It's a giant five-legged spider! Ah, a spider monkey! Look at the way she climbs effortlessly, 30 meters above the forest floor. Oh, wow! Let me see. Hang on. I didn't even get a good look at her. Oh, she was really cool looking. The Tortuga! Come on, we can get a good look from up there. Spider monkeys! <laughs> Spiders? And monkeys? No, spider monkeys. We can see them from the roof. Come on. What? A monkey that looks like a spider? Uh, no thanks. Oh, no. They're really cute. She's right. And they have really funny hair. Come on, check it out. Wow. Can't really tell from here if they're cute. Oh, but look at that arm swinging. Just casually swinging from branch to branch. Swing and stretch and hang. Oh, if only I could brachiate like that. Breaky what, like who? Brachiate, that means swing arm over arm, like a spider monkey does. Wow, that is one impressive creature power. Hey, give me those. Hey. Hey, they are cute. We'll be with those spider monkeys in no time. <laughs> yeah! Only one problem with your brilliant plan, Chris. You're ziplining down, and the spider monkeys are climbing up. Oh, oh no! <sighs> You're a great climber, bro. But when compared to spider monkeys, not so much. They're just super climbers, aren't they? Yeah, and there's no way we can keep up with spider monkeys. But we could have found, oh, about 100 cool insects by now. If we were doing a bug-sized adventure. Huh? What? Horses in the trees? So now horses can climb better than me, too? Not horses, Chris. Those are spider monkeys. And if I remember my spider monkey language lessons, that means they found a fruit tree. My turn, finally! Okay, so there's a father and two teenage monkeys, but no sign of a mother. Okay, now this isn't fair. You make me come on a swing with the spider monkey adventure, and now I can't even look. But I don't even see a mother or a baby. Here, let me see. I'll find a baby spider monkey. Come on, bro, gimme! Martin, you're more annoying than a mosquito. Uh, Chris? I think I found them. The smell is off the charts. Lead me to ya, flower. Nectar. A kinkajou. Amazing. It's not only insects that pollinate flowers. Some mammals do, too. Chris, are you there? Just checking. Oh, a good sniffer to find the flower, and a long tongue to lap up the nectar. Hey, let me have a taste. Hello! Oh, I could use that tail, too. Okay, Orbit, hopefully my aim is as good as yours is when you spin the first thread of your web. Yes! Wow! Please, please, please hold. Yes! Spider webbing is incredible! Yes! My spider silk really is as strong and tough as a real spider's. Donio! Did we stop moving? Ugh, those wild crafts. Well, nothing my jet's built-in tailor's kit can't handle. Oh, no! She's free! If she gets out over the Atlantic Ocean, we'll never be able to stop her. Wait a second. I'm picking up something. It's... it's Chris! He's up ahead of the jet! Chris, what are you doing? Making a giant web! 
old Nord Weavers can catch birds in their webs, then we can catch a jet airplane in our bigger webs. There, frame's done, now for the sticky part. Well, you better hurry because she's coming down the valley now! Need an extra spinneret? Let's do it, bro! Set. Here, Birdie, right this way. Oh, goody, the ocean. Those wild crats will never catch us now. <laughs> yes, now that's spider power. Thanks for teaching us how it's done, Orbit. What is this? Dobio, get my jet off this thing now. Coming, Danita. <laughs> Stick around while we rescue those spiders. <laughs> In here. Gotta deactivate pose beam control. Let's get you spiders home. Those spiders shouldn't be making your dresses, Danita. They deserve to be living free and in the wild, not working for you. Hey, come on, bro. Let's go. Uh, who likes spiders anyway? OK, 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 we got to know. What creature is that? Who are you on? Oh, here he is. Welcome to Planet Three Toad Slot. Now that looks like an alien. <laughs> yeah, but a cute one. Yes, slots. <laughs> Today's gonna be pretty easy because that's a creature who knows how to chillax. Chillax? Yeah, chill out and relax. Chillax. See, this is how you chillax. <sighs> chillax, yeah, that'll work. That's what we'll name him, Chillax. Oh! Oh! Slow and steady. That's the sloth's way. Oh, yeah. We're about to reach top speed. He's in high gear now. He's heading for that leap. Go, Chillax, go! Yeah! Time! Oh, nice work. Less than one-sixth of a kilometer per hour. That's record time for the world's slowest mammal. That was awesome! Aviva, you have to make a suit of this guy. What? Why? What's the power? I mean, they're not fast. Less than two kilometers per hour compared to Cheetah's 110 kilometers per hour. I think all of us can climb faster than that, even me. The suit would actually slow us down. Exactly. They know how to hang out. That's good enough for me, my kind of creature. Come on, please. Okay, Jay-Z, I'll do it for you. Just stop looking at me like that. Hey, we'll help with that suit. Back to normal size. Here's what you need to know. One of the reasons sloths are so slow is they've taken a strategy of conserving energy. Leaves don't have a lot of energy, and other animals that eat them have to spend most of their time eating. So instead of eating a lot, sloths just slow down their pace so they can use less energy. And hey, it works for them. Spider monkeys! Oh, 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 oh. And these guys are totally different. They eat fruit. It's high in energy, so these guys can move. And look, another creature link. They're both dependent on these trees for food. They just eat different parts. Hey, Chris, it's Grabsy. Hey, Grabsy. You know that spider monkey hairstyle you gave me last time? Could you do that again? Well, we found who was making that sound. Mystery solved. Told you it was a monkey. Way to go, Jay-Z. But that nose. 
Didn't know he'd have a giant nose. He must have a serious cold. I never knew a monkey like that even existed. He doesn't have a cold, Jimmy. Proboscis monkeys have the biggest nose of any monkey. It doesn't seem real, but it is. Wish I had a nose like that. It's cool. That's what I'll call ya, schnozzle, after that cool nose. The question is, what is that nose all about? Why in the world would a monkey need a nose like that? <laughs> One thing's for sure, that nose doesn't slow you down. Follow that monkey's nose! Woohoo! You proboscis monkeys are good in the trees. Looks like there are eight monkeys in this troop, and Schnozzle's the only adult male. Everybody else is a female or kid monkey. <laughs> like this nosy young guy. Hey! Wait up, nosy! Not so fast, Schnozzle! Woohoo! Did you catch that move, Schnozzle? That oh. hurts! Oh. Oh. <gasps> Martin? Chris? This is pretty funny, do you, Schnozzle? <laughs> I think it's a pretty good look for you guys. <laughs> and thanks for figuring out that the mystery discs are the proboscis monkey. Oh, hello. We're just wondering what these noses are for. Uh, hi there. <laughs> hi. Hey, Chris. Yeah. Suddenly we're pretty popular around here. <laughs> hey. Guys, I think you figured out one thing those noses are for. We did? Yeah, the girl monkeys like them. <gasps> You're right. In nature, lots of animals have certain features that show off they're healthy and strong. Like male moose and deer. They have big antlers to show females that they're survivors. For proboscis monkeys, it's all about the nose. The bigger and droopier the nose, the better. <laughs> oh, she's teaching what fruit is good to eat. Green could make him sick, but the yellow is ripe and ready to eat. <laughs> From the looks of them, it's delicious. Cool! Orangutans teach their kids the knowledge of the forest. Yeah, they have a knowledge of the plants, fruits, and trees. They pass from generation to generation. But I noticed something else, dude. Nobody teaches them to eat with their mouths closed. <laughs> they sound kind of like you slurping breakfast cereal. <laughs> More like you sucking up soup. Huh? Where are you guys? Uh, we were kind of thrown off course. Are you doing yoga? Nope, we're stiffening up. Uh, just hold up the first aid kit. I'll teleport it back here. <gasps> uh. <gasps> Jimmy, you're gonna teleport my head. Uh, my fingers aren't working right. Wait, we can't teleport living things. Cancel teleport. Forget it, Jimmy. We're bringing the medicine kit to you. Is this the way back? Right on course. Huh? Uh, Chris, we're running, but not going anywhere. Huh? Uh-oh. Oh. His feet seem to be as strong as his hands. Uh. Interesting observation, Chris. 
I think I'm gonna name him the big strong orange guy who won't let us get back to the Tortuga. <laughs> Might be a little long, you think? Whoa! Uh, we already believe orangutans are really strong. You really don't have to show us again. Whoa! Talk about being thrown off course. He threw us back here again? Huh. Yeah, now that's funny luck. A real coincidence. Hmm. Or did he do it on purpose? Oh, whoa! Even as babies, they're strong. It's so wild that a baby orangutan is strong enough to grab and hang when he is just six hours old. When he's around a year old, he's as strong as a grown-up human. <laughs>